Next, a man whose partner took his own life two days after telling his family he was gay says more people face being in a similar situation if those angry protests over LGBT rights education in primary schools continue. It'll be five years on Tuesday since uh, Nazim Mahmoud from Birmingham ended his life. Our reporter Balvinder Sidhu has been to meet his fiance, uh, Matt Mahmoud Ogston, to hear their story. A painful reminder of the past. Matt Ogston visits the cemetery where the man he loves is buried. Naz Mahmoud was a successful doctor who planned to marry his boyfriend of 13 years. But at the age of 34, he took his own life. Two days after coming out as gay to his family. He'd never been asked the question directly by his parents. And in that moment, when he was asked, why are you crying, why are you crying, is it because you like men? He had the opportunity to do something that he'd always wanted. And in that moment, he was told by his parent that he had to go to a psychiatrist to be cured because they thought it was a disease. It's been almost five years, but the pain of losing Naz is still raw. It's a scar that I will have for the rest of my life and in, until I get, it's my turn to see Naz. And no one should ever have to go through this. Naz grew up in Birmingham, not far from where protests have been taking place over teaching primary school children about LGBT rights. Matt says the row over this issue is deeply disturbing. Imagine if Naz had to walk past those gates. How would he feel? And then how would somebody who's from a similar upbringing to Naz, how are they going to feel when it was a loudspeaker saying, it's not OK to be gay and Muslim? That, that is going to lead to more suicides in that community. Naz and Matt met in a nightclub in Birmingham in 2001, but they kept their relationship a secret for 13 years. Matt says Naz was too afraid to come out. You couldn't really walk down the streets um, feeling comfortable because we feared that being seen and then the consequences of being seen, what was going to happen. And so we decided to, to run away to, to London. And in London we, met, we had this beautiful life where we didn't know anyone. There was no family members down there. And we could be free to just be, be ourselves. Dr. Rusi Jaspal has spent the last decade researching identity and psychological well-being amongst gay Muslims. He says many lead secret lives. Many gay Muslims do not have supportive networks. Therefore, they end up living in isolation. They'll end up living in secrecy. Many of them may be le leading double lives. And this can be very traumatic for their psychological well-being. Matt has now set up a foundation in memory of Naz to help other people who are struggling with their sexual identity. I keep Naz's memory alive because he asked me to promise him never to forget him. And I think it's really important that the world never forgets him and, and also why he died. Well, Bavinda joins us in the studio now. You know, very strong words from we've heard in all of these uh, reports this week. Where do we go from here? So the row over stop um, RSE or relationships and sex education in primary schools isn't going away anytime soon. The protests may have stopped for the summer, but are expected to resume in September. Now, this issue um, brings a lot of strong emotions in all parties involved. Parents are saying it's up to us when we educate our children about different types of relationships, not the state. The LGBTQ community are hurt and angry because why is telling children about their existence so wrong and then you've got the schools who are saying we need more support from the government and now we've got Gavin Williamson South Staffordshire MP in charge so let's see if he can get a grip on this situation. Thank you very much Val.
Um, well, if you've been affected by any of the um, themes in the reports that we've shown uh, this week on uh, LGBT uh, rights and the issues over schools and the arguments, um, there are uh, links to support on our website. There's the addresses uh, on the screen uh, right now. And if you want to catch up on that series, you can do so on our YouTube channel.